Welcome back to my channel. This is our weekly M1 finance bridge account review. Overall, the account is still down. It's down 15.54%, but that is up from what it's been down in the past. Um, because I noticed, because I check my account every day, which is probably not a healthy habit, <laughs> but I remember this, like the total number being over $3,000 down. So we're headed in the right direction, but I'm cautiously optimistic because the markets are very volatile and we just have no idea which way they will go. So let's just look at what happened this past week. So the past week, the account was up 2.07%. I think overall the markets performed well this past week, but again, next week it can just do a super deep dive. So I try not to get too excited when I see these types of increases um, because I just, I just don't know what is to come. So it was up $429.08. So let's see where that money came from. SCHD was up 0.52% or $42.59. VGT up 3.85% or $280.39. So it looks like the bulk of it came from VGT. Then Realty Income, which is my little saving grace, was up 1.51% or $44.50, and then VTI was up 2.80%, and um, or $61.60. So the bulk of the increase for the week came from VGT and VTI, which co coincidentally uh, are the two main ETFs that are significantly down and dragging, dragging down my portfolio. So those are the balances. So let's just look at deposits that I made for the week. So I only made one deposit this week um, on July 18th in the amount of $180. But if you see, I did one buy of $187.41. That $7.41 is coming from the dividend that was paid out on July 15th. But in terms of money that I deposited is just the $180. So all of that amount, the $187, went to purchase Realty Income. I was able to get 2.67 shares of it, which is really great because I definitely want to continue to build up that position. And if we just go back and look on the main page you see there's an upcoming trade right here in the amount of $160 that's going to get traded tomorrow July 25th and it's one buy it's all going to go into realty income and I know I've said this before but just for anyone new or just anyone who needs a reminder all of my buys right now are going into realty income because I'm really trying to build up the position in my portfolio we see right now it represents 14.81% of the portfolio, but I want to bring it up to 38%. So the overall goal for this account is for 60% of it to be SCHD and 40% to be Realty Income. So I eventually want to completely move out of VTI and VGT um, from this portfolio. But slow and steady win the race and if anyone's wondering well why would you move out of like vti it's because i have other investment accounts that i have invested in the total stock market like for instance my roth ira is with vanguard that's all total stock market and my 401k plan with my employer that's also the total stock market so i, I feel like i'm just really heavy already in those ETFs. So, you know, balancing it out by making this account realty income at SCHD um, would be a good mix, but I am no investment pro. So if you have any, any opinions or advice for me, definitely let me know, but that's where I am. That's what I'm thinking right now. So again, and with a very positive week, 
we are in the 21,000 range, which is fantastic. I haven't seen us in the 21,000 range in a really, really, really long time. But of course, if we pan back, I have invested $24,252.63 um, into this account. So still down significantly, but happy that we're at least it looks like in the 20s i don't want to jinx anything you know for it to like go back into like the 19s and the 18s which is where it was for a really really long time so i'm thinking we're good to be staying in the 20s like even if it does decrease right it'll still be like twenty thousand something something um so fingers crossed there but um that's that's it for this week and I will talk to you all next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.